There's a massive problem around the world with how many dogs are starving and roaming the streets alone. And let's be honest, every dog deserves a home. Got there. We got some older stuff that you want. What do you guys want? Study, start to worry, bro. I'm not tiring, man. We only got diaries, brother. There's a pipe full of guns out there. You can just burn a smoke. Who wants to smoke? I don't know. You have a light on you. Have a fire. Take a puff. Take a puff. Open up. Open up. God, that I say, Father, no, the eye. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, let me puff. Nice big one. Big one, eye. Hey, back, But just have a split. No need to go. Are <laughs> <laughs> you going to get missed? Now <laughs> nah, you take a video, nice, now you must give me some 200 bucks, man. <laughs> 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 So this is a dive where Ollie Logan and myself went to Cape Point. It wasn't super fishy as the reason why I'm filming these glow thingies. We were soon met with a cheeky seal who probably wanted to feed but buggered off pretty quickly. And then BOOM! A school of yellowtail. But like, surely Logan or Ollie must have shot, right? And not quite. Uh, wait, oh no! <laughs> yeah. But don't feel too bad because Ollie and I had a chance to redeem ourselves in Cape St. Francis a few months later. And besides, the ocean decided to provide us with a school of bonita that came past, which I shot and quickly turned into fish wraps. Later that day, we proceeded to go to our favorite spot to enjoy a sunset and some seals in the distance. Dog. Who's this, bro? Yeah, Who's this? Dog, bro. This is your new dog. Been looking for a dog, eh? Yeah. For a while, bro. Tried to adopt a few times, but it didn't work out. You know what? For a reason, I guess. Eh? Yeah, exactly. Hey, hey. <laughs> It just so happened that this puppy had an owner in the village who wanted 2,000 Rand for her. You're yeah, right. But this dog looks lonely. Meet Kai. He's a hunting dog that was astray and traveled with some hikers from Ndumbi, which is a 40 minute drive away. People would want him, but he would never stay until he met us. No, seriously, for the whole time we were there, he wouldn't leave our side. Steph decided he wanted to take him, and we were fortunate that a couple of non-profit vets were giving strays rabies shots and decided to check him out. Kai had testicular cancer, but we were told that after two months of treatment, he would be fine. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Hey boy. Balls cut off. We'll just take you there as well, bro. <laughs> it's like whenever you try to chat to a girl, bro. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so we took him. On the road we went to his new forever home and this was the story of Kai, the stray from the trans guy who got a second chance. Oh, no city life, bro. Nah bro, he ain't no city boy. Give him a kiss. Ah! Ah! Yo, okay, so is that oh, he, he knows his dad bro, he knows his dad. I mean, dude, think about it. Like three months ago, he's walking the streets of Trans Sky. Scuttling for food. And Literally, bro. Shows you he's quite intelligent as well. <laughs> Friendly as well. <laughs> yeah.
I don't know, I don't know how Ollie listens, should we test it? <laughs> we should test it. Yep, yep. There we go. Three months, bro. Three months, bro. So as you can see, guys, Kai's come a long way. <laughs> He's not a tribesman anymore. Yeah. Fully domesticated, bro. He's a camp spay lani. But anyways, guys, that'll be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like and subscribe for more videos like these, and I'll see you next time. Still loves a cheeky cuddle. <laughs>